I am old-fashioned and I'm old school. I marvelously got called that all the time in jail by the young black man who'd see my beard down to my belly button and say, hey, old school, and I loved that. It made me feel good. It made me feel like they regarded me because they couldn't grow their beard that long or they just sort of marveled at that Harley Davidson look, that ZZ Top man who in front of them who was sort of kind and polished but didn't ta talk a lot because of the rules, frankly, in the handbook. What I am communicating about, though, is that people like me have a right to produce a life based on their faith. I grew my beard over a year for my faith, and I have the right to do that. I have kept my beard over this time because God has said to do that. The people who have been cutting my faith based beard have been committing a hate crime because at no time did I authorize them to be a groomer of my face or a producer of my life. The value of what I was doing was going to be benefited to a person that I've been minding to for some time. That person has made me assignments that I complete almost every day online. If it wasn't for the kindness of a couple companies, I would not be able to have half the chance at producing a new life for me. So I have to thank them on one level, but I have to spank them on another level because not all their employees understand the laws of America with regard to human boundaries. And that's sort of a surprising thing today.